Hi friends, welcome to Edrop Sports and welcome to today's video. So in today's tutorial, we are going to be interacting with Yaka Testnet. Yaka Testnet is incentivized. How do we know that? They have an announcement in their Discord server where they tell you that you have to hold the Yaka Blast NFT in order to be able to in order to be eligible to receive the rewards. So your goal as you watch this video and you, inter you do the necessary interaction is to have the Yaka Blast NFT. And once you have done that, you'll be eligible to receive rewards. So make sure that you watch till the end. So to begin with, go to your Chrome Web Store. If you do not have Compass Wallet, make sure that you download it. Or you can download any other wallet that is compatible with Say Network. Because this testnet is going to be on Say. Now, after installing the Compass Wallet, you want to make sure to either create a new wallet or you import your old wallet. And once you have set up your wallet, then we can now move on to the next step. So the next thing is that we want to go to the save for set to claim some test tokens. So I'm going to open up my browser. I'll paste the link to the faucet. So to use the save for set, you first need to connect your Discord. You don't need to join any server. They just want to make sure that you are not a robot. So tap on connect to Discord. And then authorize the website to be able to access your Discord. Next, you are going to connect save for set with your wallet. So tap on connect wallet. Tap on connect and now you can either manually paste your wallet address or tap on auto fill then tap on next and then tap on request say. So 5 say have been successfully deposited in your wallet however you can only claim at once every 24 hours so if you finish up everything that you are given then you'll have to wait till the next day to be able to collect another say that you can use for your testnet interaction now we are going to the testnet website you can find the link in the comment section for your convenience and once you are here you are going to connect your wallet and i am going to switch my browser to desktop mode because when you are on mobile mode you won't be able to see all the features that you need for the testing purposes so I am on desktop mode now and then you can see that the interface is looking different now. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to head over to the swap section. And here you want to make sure that you complete at least 5 swaps between all the tokens that are listed here. So the first swap I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be swapping ya uh, Say to Yaka token. So I'll have Say at the top Yaka at the bottom. Then I'll indicate the number of Say I want to swap into Yaka. I'll be swapping 0.5 Say then I'll tap swap button. And then I'll approve this and confirm the transaction in my wallet. Now for my second swap, I'll be changing Yaka to USDT and then I'll be swapping some say for USDT. Now I'll be swapping one say this time for USDT. And then I'm going to tap on the swap button and then I'm going to approve and confirm that in my Compass Wallet. So this is our swap number two, three more to go. This time I'll be swapping say into USDC. So I'll change USDT into USDC and I will be swapping one say into USDC. So I'll tap on the swap button 
and I will approve and confirm this in my compass wallet. Transaction successful. We have two more to go. This time I will be swapping a USDT into Yaka token. So I'll have USDT at the top, Yaka at the bottom. So I'll be swapping 0.003 USDT into Yaka token, then I'll tap on the swap button and I will confirm that in my wallet. Transaction successful. Now we have just one more swap to go. Then I will be swapping USDC this time into Yaka token. And I'll be swapping 0.003 USDC into Yaka token. So I'll tap on swap and then I'll confirm the transaction in my compass wallet. So the transaction is successful. We are done with the swapping feature. Now we are going to head over to liquidity. And this time you want to make sure that you also interact with all the token pair that is on the liquidity. So tap on pools. So we have four different pair in the liquidity pool. If you can't interact with everything in one sitting, make sure that the next day you go back and then interact because every interaction that you do here gives you a point. So I will be starting with the last pair in here. I will tap on it and tap on enter. Then if you move to the left side, you are going to tap on deposit to open up the deposit tab. And here you are going to indicate the amount of say and the Yaka token that you want to add into the liquidity pool. Since we have just 5 say and that is what I have been managing, I will be spending just a little amount of tokens every time I want to do a transaction. So when you enter an amount for one of the tokens, it, the other one will be automatically added. Now we are depositing, we want to confirm in my wallet. Tap on approve. The transaction is successful. So you can see your liquidity position by going to my position so that the tab can open up. And then you can see the tokens that you have added into the liquidity pool under this pairing. So we'll go back to the liquidity page and then I'm going to choose another liquidity pairing here. Tap on deposit. So this time I want to add Yaka and USDC into the liquidity pool. Indicate the amount of each one that you want to add to the pool and then tap on deposit. Confirm in your wallet. Transaction successful. So I'll go back and then add the third pairing into the liquidity pool. Tap on deposit and then indicate the amount that you want to add. Then tap on deposit and then you are going to confirm in your wallet. 
So approve the transaction in your wallet. So it remains one more pair that I won't be able to add to the pool in this video because I am out of, you know, testnet say for gas fee and I'll have to do that one later. So the transaction for the third pair is already successful. Now let's assume that you have done the entire four. You are going to switch over to the airdrop tab at the top of your screen. And then you can see that after performing testnet interactions, I have been given points. So when you do everything, when you interact with every feature that is available already, you are going to have points. And I think your point for every interaction is, is capped at 410 points or so. Now, if you want to earn more points, you will see that people on this leaderboard have more than 400 points. You are going to tap on that share I button and then you can see your referral link here. Then you can copy your referral link and then share it with other people so that when they do testnet interactions you also earn points from them and that is how other people you see on the leaderboard end their points so next we are going to join the girls campaign for yaka and i will you paste the link to the girls in your search bar and this is what we have here so in order not to waste too much time i am not going to be doing the girls task one after the other however when i am done completing everything i am going to claim the yaka nft yaka blast nft in this video just like in the next few minutes i'm going to claim the nft here so that you can see how i do it and then it will be easier for you to do it because you would need to add say wallet to your girls before you can be able to claim however before i start interacting with the girls campaign i will first go back and then join yaka discord server so i'll paste the link to the discord server in my browser and then i am going to tap on accept invite they don't really have any form of verification so just join the discord server however this is what you are going to do after joining their discord server you are going to come to special roles and then you are going to interact with the crown emoji, the first one among all of the emoji sets right here. You are going to interact with it to have the Yaka Blast role on the Discord server. So you can check if you have been given the role by going to any of their server, any of their, of their channel rather. And then just send a message where you can send the message. And then tap on your profile picture and then you can see if you have a role. You can see I have the Yaka Blast role. Then I'll go back to girls and then I am going to complete the all of the tasks that are here. Then when I am done completing, I am going to resume this video. So I am done completing and this is how you are going to claim the NFT. If you do not have say linked to your girls account before. So go to that circle and then you are going to tap on settings. Now you are going to tap on the wallet address tab and then once you are here you are going to switch your browser to desktop mode if you have been on mobile like me. So I have switched my browser to desktop mode now and then this is how you are going to do it. Just tap on say if you want to add a link any wallet to your girls don't go to the network. At the top of your screen it is just going to create another account for you instead just tap on whatever network that you want to add you can see it say so i'm tapping on say and then it will give you prompt to choose which wallet you want to connect to i am using compass for say so i'll tap on compass so you are going to enter your credentials and then you are going to sign that you want to indeed link your compass wallet to your say uh, sorry to your girl's account then you are going to approve the transaction and that is it except if girls is having an issue it is very actually very simple to link uh, your secondary address to your girl's account so i have linked my say address to my girl's account now i am going to go back and now you are now going to tap on switch to say now you are going to tap on claim one nft this one just tap on skip tap on approve 
now if you want to claim this nft i forgot to add earlier you are going to need a little bit of gas fee just a tiny bit of gas fee like one cent what of say i happen to have um, enough balance to claim my own nft so if you do not have you are going to have to get some say then send it to your compass wallet and then use it to claim your nft on gas so i have been able to successfully claim the nft let's see so you can see that the claim button is no longer active it says claimed which means i have claimed my nft so that is all that you need to do to claim your nft then lastly we are going to be joining uh, their zilli campaign as well so paste the link to zilli on your search bar and then search for it every link that i used in this video i'm going to have all of them pasted in the comment section for your convenience tap on accept invitation and then all of you know how uh, zilli works just try to gain as much sp as you can because that will determine the rewards that you are going to get so do as many tasks as you can in order to gain as many xps that as you can there are also like five quizzes here i have not yet done mine so once i do my own quizzes i'm going to have the answers posted in my telegram channel so if you need the answers you can come to my channel by tomorrow i think you should find the answers there so that is all for yaka finance tutorial if you have any questions drop me a comment in the comment section of this video and if you have found value in any of my contents make sure that you stay subscribed to my channel like this video so that others can also get to see it thank you for watching and i'm going to see you in another tutorial